Related news, the district election officer has served a notice to the Archbishop of Gandhinagar days after his letter appealing for prayers against nationalist forces. Acting on a complaint filed by an NGO, the election officer has sought clarification as to why his letter should not be treated as a violation of the model code of conduct. Seeking immediate action against the top Christian priest, the NGO claims that the Archbishop's letter was an attempt to generate fear amongst voters to divide people on the basis of caste and creed, along with baseless allegations against nationalist forces. The Archbishop had written a letter on the 23rd of November urging members of the Christian community to save this country from nationalist forces, indirectly targeting the ruling BJP in the state. So that's the very latest that we have, that um, the Archbishop is now facing the heat. There's a notice that has been sent to him. This after he shot off a letter appealing for prayers against nationalist forces. And that's the latest you have on the story. Jamana now joins us live on this developing story. Jamana, what's the latest? We believe that the district election officer is, uh, has served a notice to the Archbishop. Any response yet? No, nothing. The Archbishop is refusing to comment. He's not even taking calls, which is unusual for him. In the past, he has been reachable, more or less. So this is unusual for him. Uh, what we know from the election commission, as you uh, pointed out earlier, that they have issued a notice to him and they have sought an explanation from him as to why his letter should not be considered as a violation of the model code of conduct. The next on uh, in line is they are going to take a, 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 an answer from him, a written explanation from him. And if they find that his answer is not satisfactory, then they will launch an inquiry into it. And after the inquiry, if the inquiry finds that it does, his letter does violate the moral code of conduct, then an FIR could be registered against him. But there are maybe three steps in between this letter, the issuance of this letter and the FIR being registered. So at the moment, what we do know for sure is that an action has been initiated against him. The last I spoke to him, uh, he said that he has not received any threats or any other uh, say uh, any other warnings or anything be it from the church or from any other organization he was right. just quite all right, right. what he said all right jamana thanks for joining us live thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to